Just before starting this video, I just want to tell you that if you watched my two previous videos on FSR Redstone, you know that I did state that I was disappointed with AMD. And I still am. We've been waiting for FSR Redstone for about a year. A whole year. And when it comes, I mean, it comes late, incomplete, and with parts of it like frame generation that in some games still have frame inconsistencies, like issues with frame pacing. But then you ask, what does FSR Redstone has to do with the drivers, with the adrenaline drivers? Well, it happens that the drivers that I'm reviewing in this video, the 25.12.1, are the ones that bring FSR Redstone machine learning and the new version of FSR upscaling to the adrenaline software. And again, we have no support for older generation cards with absolutely no words from AMD. Zero. So while on top of not having FSR for, for older cards, while we know that it works via FP16 emulation like it does on Linux or with a leaked version of Int8 FSR4, we know that one way or another FSR4 works with the older cards, AMD refuses to make it work officially. And on top of that, we have other features that should come as soon as possible for RDNA 3 and RDNA 2 cards, and they aren't coming, like Raid and Image Sharpening, AMD Chat, and many other features that somehow are working with RDNA 4, but don't work with RDNA 3, even though RDNA 3 has matrix, matrix instructions. So even though Raiden Image Sharpening 2 is using AI to, to make image look better or sharper with less artifacts, it should work at least with RDNA 3, and it has been since March that Raiden Image Sharpening has been released, and nothing. And the same applies to FSR 4 with Vulkan. FSR 4 was released in March, there are very good games with Vulkan right now needing FSR 4, and still no words from AMD. AMD is acting like they were Nvidia, but only with a fraction of the market share. But well, ranting apart, we do have the 25.12.1 drivers, which are now WHQL recommended drivers for everyone, and I do have a list of new things that came to these drivers. New things, bad things, good things, I, I do have a list, like a big list, you can see. So, I guess, let's start with the 25.12.1 drivers as usual. And as I say in all my videos, 25 is the year 2025, 12 is the month December and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of December. And well, let's start with the release notes. But before, of course, let's lay an eye to this sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and for all of these you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So let's start with the release notes with the highlights. Starting with new features with support for AMD FSR Redstone, meaning that AMD actually got rid of the naming FSR4 and it is now just FSR with no fidelity effect super resolution called Redstone. We also have new product support with AMD Raiden AI Pro R9600D and the Raiden AI Pro R9700S. And then we go immediately to the fixed issues, starting with the first one, which is Raiden Anti-Like 2 option may not be available while playing Counter-Strike 2 the X11 with Raiden Anti-Like 2 enabled on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden 9070 XT. Intermittent system crash may be observed while using some high bandwidth HDMI 2.1 displays during display standby. And then we have an important fixed issue, which is intermittent application freeze when using the in-game Radian overlay. So if you want to use the overlay, it seems that the freezing issues have been fixed. But since I don't really use the Radian overlay a lot, leave a comment in the comment section if you do, if it is fixed or not, as the community and me personally want to know. And the last fixed issue is intermittent application crash when playing Ark Raiders on the Bluegate map on the Raiden RX 9000 series product. So if you were having issues with Ark Raiders, they should be fixed by now, at least in the Bluegate map. And that's basically it. Just FSR Redstone and, and this. And we do know that more new things are going to come soon, like AFMF3 and so on, but again, 
no words from AMD. In the past, we had some preview drivers working and so on. As for now, no preview drivers, no words on FSR 4 for the RX 7000 series, RDNA 3 or even RDNA 2. Absolutely closed mouth and we are left in the dark. And I mean, lots of people that, are, that have been buying AMD for ages, they are now shifting to NVIDIA because if we are getting the same treatment from the underdog as we get from the top dog, well, we might as well just buy NVIDIA because we have features first, we have newer features, and usually uh, we have better performant performant cards. So why buy the underdog if the underdog doesn't really do what the underdog usually does, which is deliver more things for more people since they aren't really the top dog. I mean, it makes no sense. AMD is really shooting themselves in the foot time after time after time. And it shouldn't be that way, especially now that they are a billion dollar company. They need to do better. But well, going back to the drivers once more, let's go to the known issues of these drivers. The first one is intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while loading a save game in Cyberpunk 2077 with path tracing enabled. AMD is actively working blah 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 blah. So basically AMD is telling us that they are actively working with the developers of Cyberpunk 2077, CD Projekt Red, and we still have the same result. It has been like three or four months and this issue is still happening. It doesn't really happen to everyone, but it is still happening it should have been fixed by now. Intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Battlefield 6 on the AMD Ryzen AI AGX 370, another issue that has been happening for quite a long time. Intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Roblox Player, Cars on Racing and Drifting when task switching between media on the Raiden RX 7000 series products another issue that has been happening for three or four driver versions. Then we have texture flickering or corruption may appear while playing Battlefield 6 with AMD record and stream on some AMD graphics products. And the last known issue is some shadows may not render correctly while playing Call of Duty Black Ops 7 on some AMD graphics products. AMD is actively working on a, on a resolution, sorry, with the developer to be released as soon as possible. And yes, this was an issue um, that Hardware Unboxed showed on their video, they actually found that the, the shadows aren't working properly on the AMD cards. Performance-wise, things are more or less the same, but even on low settings, AMD cards have more FPS in Call of Duty, but the shadows aren't being rendered properly. And from what I know, it is just not in some cards. At least from the cards that I tested, the shadows are not being rendered properly. <sighs> yeah, I don't even know what to say. But well, let's now move to the things that I found about these drivers and we do have some. So firstly, these drivers bring FSR 4.0.3, previous versions were 4.0.2, that's the versions that we had before on the SDK. Now if you go to GPU Open, you have the FSR 4.0.3 DLL, it is there, and the same applies for FSR 4 frame generation, which is the frame generation using machine learning. That is the same thing, you go to GPU Open, you have the DLLs there, so if you want to upgrade your game to FSR 4 frame generation, you can do it via DLLs. Then we have some issues fixed, of course. We have about the same performance on the 9070 XT, but I also tested the performance with Counter-Strike 2 with the 7900 XT, and in Counter-Strike 2, well, generally the 7900 XT performed better with the newer drivers, the new recommended drivers, the 25.12.1. And there's also one thing that was actually a viewer that told me, I didn't actually notice it. Phase Delta made the comment on my video of FSR Redstone saying that we now have a white theme and we do have a white theme. As soon as you go to the preferences, you can go there and you have the option to select the system color or dark or light. I personally wouldn't use that Retina Burner light skin or light theme, but yeah, if you want to use it, it is there. I guess AMD prefers to spend more time doing the light themes and so on instead of fixing the things that they need to fix or instead of bringing Vulcan FSR 4 and so on, whatever. Now I have some issues that I found. So some games don't get updated when the games already have FSR 4.0.2 implemented natively. So if the game supports FSR 3.1, you go to the drivers and they update it immediately to FSR 4.0.3. But if the game supports FSR 4.0.2 natively, games like Kronos, the new, the new Dawn, sorry, 
Games like, let's say, Dying Light the Beast, Adrenaline Software won't recognize that the game is using 4.0.2 and won't update to the 4.0.3, which is actually a bummer. Another issue is that Game Pass still isn't supported mostly, so this is an issue that has been occurring for ages and I don't really know why, but Game Pass games still don't appear in the Adrenaline Software, at least most of them. Meaning that if you have a Game Pass game, or a game that you're playing from Game Pass, you actually need to go, you need to add the game manually, and it might work, or it might not work, which is a bummer, and they know this is happening for ages, and they still haven't fixed it. Then we have FSR 4 frame generation, machine learning frame generation, with some pacing issues in some games, so there are games that work very well, with FSR 4 frame generation, it works very smooth, perfect, like Battlefield 6, Call of Duty, Black Ops 7, we have some other games that I tested that work very well, like Titan Quest, although Titan Quest has some issues in terms of quality, but in terms of smoothness works very well, but there are other games like Ark Raiders, like let's say the Alters, they just don't work very well, and that's really, really a bummer, but most of the games that don't work very well, they don't give you the option to enable vSync. Now, if you're having pacing issues, usually from the games that I tested, enabling vSync will increase the smoothness. Not because you're locking frames, because most times when you enable vSync, the frames aren't getting locked, but because it just does. Especially on the bottom of the screen where you, where you usually have those issues, as soon as you enable vSync, it works. I'll be making a video very, very soon showing you that, that the frame pacing issues aren't, relating, aren't related to the frame generation itself, but to the inputs given to the frame generation and of course to the fact that sometimes you can't really enable vSync. But you'll see in the next video. Another bad thing of these drivers is that there's still no support for FSR 4 for Vulkan games. Another bad thing. Now we have no new features whatsoever for RDNA 3. It just seems that AMD forgot that anything besides RDNA 4 exists and they are not bringing any new features for the older generation cards. Like any new features. Literally zero. The only little thing that they brought was an update to AFMF 2.1, but that was about it. We had many new things for RDNA 4 that never came to RDNA 3, let alone RDNA 2. According to some users, it also seems that noise suppression has been broken for quite some driver versions, for a, some driver versions, and I'm a little distracted since my little cousin is looking at me. Uh, but yeah, it seems that noise suppression has been broken, and if it keeps being broken, I don't really use it, so, and I, I honestly, I won't lose time testing it more. So, if it was fixed, leave a comment in the comment section. If it wasn't, leave a comment in the comment section as well, because AMD reads the comment section. Although I think that they should read m much more, but, but yeah. And the last thing that I found with these drivers is that the Cyberpunk performance, Cyberpunk 2077 frame pacing is still bad. Since Cyberpunk 2077 got its latest patch, AMD performance has been quite worse than it was. So before we had a really, really flat line, everything was working very well, very smooth. And as soon as they updated the game, uh, yeah. It just doesn't work well. It happens though that when I was testing, for example, the 65, the 6950 XT with the with the Int 8 FSR 4 version, I installed the 23.9.1 drivers. You're hearing correctly, drivers from two years ago with the newest patch, and they were working smooth in Cyberpunk 2077. As soon as I installed the new drivers, they were working poorly. So AMD needs to fix it. The poor frame timing isn't a thing. If you go back to the previous version, it works fine. If you install the older drivers, it works fine. So it is an issue that can be fixed via drivers and it needs to be fixed in my opinion. And well, guys, I guess that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry about the little rant, but I'm, again, I'm really disappointed that AMD, the underdog, should not have the same behavior as the top dog. Because AMD recently has been making Nvidia seem like a really good company, and they aren't, consumer practice-wise. AMD was much better in that regard, they are getting worse and worse, at least on the radio on the vision, and they are really, they are really making Nvidia looking better. And Nvidia already has the most market share, it seems like AMD doesn't really care about market share anymore, which is a bummer. I don't really know what's going on there, but it is what it is. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave your comment in the comment section, letting me know what you think about uh, the drivers, if they're working well or not. What do you think about FSR Redstone? What do you think about features not coming 
to the previous GPUs and let me know as well if you're considering getting an Nvidia GPU as your next GPU since AMD has been having this poor behavior. Just really let me know. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.